Thank you. As DeWitt leaves the podium, she spots one of the mayor's staunchest allies. Hey. Oh. 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 What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy Arden Kicks it just like that. We bet with another one. All right, y'all. So I decided, in honor of the release of the That's Caps over on the website, ArdenKicks.com, I decided, you know what? Let's try something new. We're going to try a new series on this channel. Um, We're going to call it People Capping on the Internet. I came across a video here that has a like counter at the top, as you can see. It's right there, a little like counter. So this video is titled, Biggest Liars Caught on Camera, Lie Counter. All right, so we're going we to get into this, but y'all, if you haven't already, make sure you head over to the website. Y'all going to hear my phone beeping like crazy because the orders are coming through. People are capping the caps. <laughs> People are capping the caps. They're going crazy. Um, I don't even know. I think like, I don't even know how many orders that came through. Probably like 30, 40 of them already um, in the past two hours. But thank you guys for the tremendous support. And we're going to see y'all later on in tonight's live stream. Don't forget, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We go live. We go crazy. We go scary. But anyway, y'all, this is uh, Biggest Lies Caught on Camera. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go! What she does makes her happy, then I'm happy. All right, oh, this is like some Dr. Phil stuff. She said, what she does make her happy, then I'm happy. As long as she does it safely, I'm happy. How do you do it safely? Do what? She's healthier than I am. No, she. She's not. <laughs> ah, my back. Oh my god, this woman lied, bro. She's go. She's healthier than I am. Look, she look at her face. You know she lied. How you gonna say this big obese woman that need to hit the gym and stop eating all them dang old cupcakes at McDonald's? How you gonna say she healthier than you? You that's one lie. No, she's she not. Is. Unless you're in stage four cancer, she is not healthier than you are. I've had a history of heart problems. She's healthier than oh I am. Oh, my God. I can't believe what you just said. To everything I just said to you, forget it. She now told me you have a family history of heart disease. So everything I just told you is worse. And, you know, in fact, she eats healthier than I do. No, she doesn't. I take her grocery... <laughs> I'm done to feel it some food. Like, yeah, she... He like, no, she doesn't. <laughs> Every time this woman says something, he's right there to combat it instantly. Yo, Dr. Food, Dr. Food, Dr. Phil is a fool. He's a go. <laughs> I'm dying, bro. This is too funny. Because he's over here. <laughs> She's like, she lies. And he's like, no, stop saying that. I know part of the reason why he feels so strongly uh, about this woman lying right now is because she's probably an enabler and that a lot of times be the biggest problem with people that are obese they in, they have people around them that keep allowing it to happen free shopping and the cart is loaded full of fruits and vegetables I don't even eat that much you have brainwashed these people we did a pre-interview with her okay okay she told us what she had to eat the day that we did the pre-interview with her he's healthier than you then you need to stay here when she leaves because we're going to put you in the insane asylum <laughs> four or five donuts while she's cooking breakfast what is she this woman eating four to five donuts while cooking breakfast you know what if i eat oh my stomach just thinking about it if i eat one donut before any other meal my stomach is tore up the whole day i gotta eat some real food before i eat a single donut and I can only do two. Bing! Oh, I just capped that. She had for breakfast a seven egg omelet with a cup and a half seven. of cheese. What? Put a full bell pepper, a full onion, and a full package of ham in it. What? This what? This woman had seven eggs What an omelet she made with a whole cup of cheese? She put a whole bell pepper and a whole onion and what else? Look at her. Look, she got that. Look on her face. The I'm dying inside. Look like yeah, I've been capping. What? A cup and a half of cheese. She put a full bell pepper, a full onion, and a full package of ham. A full pack of ham? It takes me like two weeks to get through a full pack of ham. In it. Then she ate four or five potatoes that she made into hash browns with another full pepper and onion. What? Four 
45 potatoes? And that held her for 45 minutes. For 45 minutes? And this woman lied? That's why you got six dings above your head. Ding, 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 ding. How you gonna sit here and say this woman eat healthier than you? You can't even finish that meal. She, 45 minutes, she was back to eating again. After all that, no, she, uh-uh. She, how do you, oh my, how do you fix somebody that has an issue like that? How can that person possibly go from eating that bad to eating small portions of food and eating healthy? I've never been a horrible eater. Everything I eat just sticks to me. Ding! I'm not lying. Ding! I I'm not capping for real. Everything I eat, it just sticks to me. I don't eat a lot of food. I don't eat real bad. Ding! Damn. Which is probably what it took to eat it. And then she <laughs> had minutes. four corn dogs dipped in nacho cheese. What? And a full size bag of potato chips. And you're right, she had a couple of strawberries. A full size bag of potato chips and four corn dogs dipped in cheese? I ain't never heard of nobody dipping corn dogs in nacho cheese before. Makes me want to try it, but not four. I can't even do four. I can do one. Ding! Maybe two. There was no ding. All right, I could do one. Look. She gon' she gonna have an early demise. That's a shame. I hope she got better. You got to get that fruit in there, right? Mm -hmm. And that held her till 11 o'clock. Now she had three sandwiches with ham, cheese, mayo, tomato, cucumber, avocados, croutons, bacon bits, and ranch dressing. What? She put all that? <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. That's nasty. She put all that on a single sandwich, and she had three of them. No. And she said, this is where I get my vegetables. What vegetables? There was vegetables on that? I heard croutons and bacon bits and mayo and lettuce. I mean lettuce. I heard um, cheese. Oh, cucumber and avocado. Her vegetable. Try eating avocado by itself, woman. And she said, this is where I get my vegetables. Oh, my Lord. So she had tomatoes and avocado smeared in mayonnaise with croutons and bacon bits. Now we get to lunch. She has a large. We just now getting to lunch. It will take me a week to eat everything she's eating. What's for dinner? All right, large pepperoni pizza for lunch. That's all she That's all she need, right? It's pepperoni pizza. Then at 1 o'clock, she has snack number three, two bowls of ice cream with caramel and whipped cream. Oh, my God. Look, it take a whole month of food stamps to feed this woman for a week. Two bowls of ice cream. I'm sorry, y'all. I know I keep pausing. I'm just dumbfounded. I ain't never heard of such. I'm surprised she ain't bigger than she is. That woman, ding, ding, gonna talk about she done dang on. Me eat better. You, girl, you a lie. Three, two bowls of ice cream with caramel and whipped cream. And then she has a hand-sized bag of M&Ms. A hand-sized bag. She had two... And she calling this junk snacks. Bacon cheeseburgers. Bacon cheeseburgers. A box of mac and cheese and oh. three bananas. A whole box. At three o'clock, she had six avocados made into guacamole and a full-size bag six. of tortilla chips. For I was about to say, dang, she eating the heck out of some avocados. That's a lot. Six of them? With a whole bag of tortilla chips, though. Guacamole style. Yep, she, oh my goodness. What does she do? What else does she do in her life besides eat? If if this is what I ate every day, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have a life. My life would be consuming food. Like she's not even consuming the food at this point. She's <laughs> inhaling it. God, woman. Oh my lord, have my look that. That's the part of the story that's not cap. Dinner, she had 10 fish tacos with rice and beans. Then she had a whole box of honey buns. A whole box of honey buns, bruh. I know her booty hole was loose after that. She ran to the bathroom. Brr, brr, brr. She was shots fired, shots fired. Somebody called a pummeler. Somebody call the plumber because we got a lake and faucet. I mean, toilet. I mean, pipes. I mean, 
You gotta get this unplugged. This woman ate a whole box of honey buns. I used to eat two of them, put them in a the microwave, and then my stomach was like, nah, you, nah, you better never do that to me again. Uh-uh. I ain't touched a honey bun in years. Bing, damn. A whole box of Hot Pocket loaded potatoes. Hot, a whole, why you eat the whole box though? Say some for somebody else. See, look, y'all gotta have two fridge in this house. One for the family and one for her ass. Look. Then a tin, a bag of pepperoni, and along the way, she drank a gallon of sweet tea and six candy bars. This woman drank a whole gallon of sweet tea. I ain't had no sweet tea in forever. Look. Bing. Oh. Look, this woman is something else. She got to be in the South because folks that's not in the South ain't drinking see, sweet tea because they don't have sweet tea in them other places like that. No, because she got to be in the South and South folks eat like this horribly. I know. Uh, six candy bars. What? Was they the full ones or the little? She ain't no little candy bars. Who am I lying? Bing. She eats better than you. So that was a big cap. Oh, look what I got early from Rockstar Games themselves. We got the major hookup today. We got the major, major hookup by... Oh, a cap and content creator. Said he got this from Rockstar Games. A very wonderful person over on Rockstar Games. Now, what I mean by that is the fact... I'm going to see if I can assume every time this dude caps. He looked like he about to... He's trying to figure out his next lie. You see it on his face? That one of the employees... From the company itself managed to go ahead and get me the game my good friend and that's cap didn't even rockstar games i love you man basically what happened was he watched my <laughs> he watched my <laughs> wait what's this next cap i'm about to come up with <laughs> cringe video where i unbox grand theft auto 6 which was a couple of months ago what i'm confused oh this is big brother uk i was gonna ask if you want your washing on but i might shrink him instead i need to talk to somebody about something that's just happened that's made me feel really uncomfortable there was no Malice and hurt or anger in anything that I did. Can't believe you're letting somebody stay that's done that. Are you alright? No, okay. I'm not. It wasn't play fighting. Just show me here, what is it? <gasps> oh, no! Yes! Yes! Go on, just stay on there. Maybe it's the, the, the language barrier, even though they're speaking English, so I should say accent. Somebody just copped a cap. Ding! On the website. That was a different kind of bing. That's the ones we actually like. Uh, I'm confused as to what's going on here. I, it, they speak English, but I, I'm... Look. You don't do that. This is why women don't say anything, because... It... Oh, look at the cap in her tears. She over here saying that somebody was hitting... Oh, I see what's going on now. It's like turned around. Trust, trust, trust me. I would never, ever, 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 ever do anything like that. But I don't know, but I know what she's doing to me. He's lying. He's lying. She comes in and she's like, he's lying. And every time lying come out of her mouth, she's the one lying. Dang it. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. He's trying to manipulate them. And we saw the video, idiot. He ain't do nothing to you. Thinking that I'm making this up. I'm not making it up. This is a shame. Women do this and put men in horrible, horrible positions. It, I, it's like, there's two issues with women that do stuff like this. Well, there's, there's more than two, but I'm talking about mentally. One is the fact that some of them believe the lies that they're telling. That's a whole other crazy. She believes, she's so consumed in this story that she's fabricated that she believes it to be true. I knew people that I grew up with that were like that. They would tell lies and they believe them. Um, the second thing is the ones, the women that are playing the game. 
where it's just a game to them. It's just fun. Like, ha, let me get him in trouble. Maybe get him kicked out the house. You know, if we're talking these reality shows. But what these women don't realize is that it can cause some serious reputable damage to the man's life, career, all this type of stuff. Potentially put him in prison and jail for lies that you told that you probably will never come forth and speak the truth on because it's going to now make you look bad. So now this fool has to suffer. And then even then, even when women do come forth and tell, say, hey, look, this is what actually happened. Those men, their reputation is still shattered, destroyed because of the lie you told. And he's tarnishing my reputation by saying... You're tarnishing... This is what I was just talking about. This is what I was just talking about. Oh, my gosh. She ought to be ashamed of herself. And this is an act. Michael Willis, screen name Generic White Male. He's almost 50 years old and he's been... His screen name is Generic White Male. Oh, my God. He named Generic White Male. He's almost 50 years old and he's been chatting online with a girl who calls herself Jolanda and who says she's 15. He lies to her about his age, typing, I'm 30. You probably don't want me around you. I'm cute, though. Built good. What are you doing? <laughs> They wrong for that. They wrong for that. Ah, They put the little, the little light counter when he says, I'm built good. Dang, your ass is built like a freaking, I don't know what he's built like, but he ain't built good. Is this some kind of setup or something? Bing! No, that, that's actually a setup. I'm just on my way to the beach. That's a lie. If you're on your way to the beach, how come you done showed up at this other age girl, underage girl house? I'm surprised you didn't even pose as a, a teenager. 30 is still too old to be with a... Look, I don't even want to go there. Then I remind generic white male that Jolanda told him she was 15. She sounds like a black chick from that movie Joanna Man. What? No way. You know, I have the transcript of your conversation with Jolanda. He said, what? No way. I did not know that. Ding. <laughs> yeah, we probably gonna make a part two because I'm talking so much. This video gonna be long as heck. You know what? I don't want this cookie. I just want to get to the beach. Come yeah. <laughs> You're not getting away that easy, sir. One second, sir. But generic white male won't be going to the beach today. As nope. he heads out the back, he stumbles off the <laughs> beach. I wish he fell. I wish he fell. He tried to recover like he was so cool. Each today, as he heads out the back, he stumbles off the beach. <laughs> get that recovery, though. of the Fort Myers Police Department. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is gonna be the last clip. We're gonna do a part two. When you hear those three famous words on the price is right. Oh, come on now. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna do this whole video. I'm enjoying this too much. You do what the man tells you. Facts. Like this woman, Happy Cashwell. $1,375. But unfortunate fabulous prizes wasn't the only thing Cashwell was collecting. Cashwell was also cashing in three grand a month in workers' comp. Claiming an on-the-job shoulder injury left her toe. Oh, really? I, look, your shoulder's in better shape than mine if you can spin this wheel, girl. Look, my back hurt. I couldn't even do it. My shoulder's all right, though. It's not too bad. Totally unable to stand, run, reach, or grasp. Here we go. Somebody else done cop the cap, y'all. I'm gonna shout you guys out later on in the live stream. Shoulder injury left her totally unable to stand, run, reach, or grasp. Well, she's definitely standing, reaching, and grasping. Here we go. Good luck. But there she is. And she ran down them stairs with her little bouncy self. Spinning that big, heavy wheel. Not she once, but twice. Ooh, we she ought to be ashamed of herself collecting three grand a month. That's that's about all you need to, to be able to live and survive. You, you all you need about three grand. I mean Yeah, that's about enough, you know, depending on your lifestyle. Kathy Cashwell, those pictures were something, right? She told us that despite how it looks in that clip, she was quote her words here, hurting the whole time. Bing! 
I need to hear it right now. David. There it is, baby. There it is. That was so cap. Her, yeah, she was hurting with, with joy. <laughs> Happiness. Ah, this woman was not in any kind of pain whatsoever. Was so dumb about this woman, too. She probably went to work and be like, look, you guys. I was on The Price is Right. I think that's the name of the show. I don't remember the name of the show. She's like, look, you guys, I was on TV. And they're like, um, Kathy, aren't you supposed to be in pain? She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Look, I had to tell them, you know, I, I shouldn't have did that little spinny the wheel thing because it, I made my, my shoulder hurt real bad. It hurt so bad. It, oh, my God, it hurt so bad. I need to go to the doctor right now because it hurt so bad. Carson, California. Mayor Jim Deere presides over a city council meeting. At the podium, community activist Vera DeWitt wraps up her argument on why the mayor should be removed from office. Please, ladies, you ladies, you quit, lower your voice. Quit interrupting me. That's all. Thank you. As DeWitt leaves the podium, she spots one of the mayor's staunchest allies. Hey. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this woman fell out like somebody. <laughs> this woman fell out like somebody shot her or something. She was like, oh. for one, so late. She was so late. She, her reaction to being smacked in the back of the head was so delayed. It was almost as if she had a thought on her mind. And then she was like, wait a minute. Something hit me. <laughs> and then she gonna fall out, bro. And y'all see it. I might have been in the way. So I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Yo. Your staunchest allies. Hey. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you hit her right in the eye. She hit her right in the eye. <laughs> oh my God. How this fool goes? Look, man. Uh, uh. No. Who is he? Why is he in the center right here? He look like he's supposed to be an important figure, and this fool gonna lie and said she hit her in the eye. Hold on. There was two dings there. What was the other lie? She hit her right in the eye. She hit her right in the eye. Stop that woman from leaving the room. She struck the woman. She should be arrested. Vera just struck a woman in the eye. I'm gonna call a doctor. The weird is fun. She don't need no. She don't need no doctor. Fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars for just love tapping somebody on the back of their head. And sentenced to one hundred hours of community service. Oh heck, now that little love tap wasn't worth it. A hundred hours of community service. I have better things to do. Oh um, man, look, I just gotta watch my temper sometimes, I guess. And fifty-two hours of anger management classes. It wasn't that serious. 52 hours of anger management. It's only because of the setting that these people are in. If it wasn't this whole court system looking thing going on here, then it wouldn't have been this severe. I promise y'all that. If it was in a school or something, <laughs> school board meeting, it would, nothing would have happened to this woman. I can't stand this mess. Certain settings can put you in a, a predicament to get in more trouble. Hey. Oh. 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 See, she fell out like that on purpose. She was like, oh, this girl go get the 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 ultimate sentence. It gonna give her 100 hours of community service and 52 hours of anger management. Ah, she, she got what she wanted out of that. You tell me about your army service? My army service is I served three years. Back Bing. three years ago. Okay. I was, in. was that your uh, uniform then? No, it wasn't. I just... Use it. You just use okay. You you used that three years ago. Yeah. You used BDUs I, three I years this, ago. I used this. And what was your rank? My rank was private first class. Private first class. Now, what is that rank on your collar there? That rank right there. That's general. That's general. Yeah. Okay. I, to me, that looks like an E5 sergeant rank. Yeah, but it ain't. It's not. It's not. You're sure. Positive. Sure. And you were a private first class. But you wore this uniform because it was your dad's? No, my grandpa's. And he was a five-star general? Yes, he was. Okay, and whenever that's his rank. That's, he served, that's he a five-star. He was a five-star general in Vietnam. Yeah. Did they wear that that pattern, that camouflage pattern in Vietnam? Yes, did. They did. That's funny. I thought the BDU pattern came out post-Vietnam. No, this came out. This uniform right here was in Vietnam when my grandfather 
was a five-star general. <laughs> this dude is a super capper. He is a super capper. The lies. He's telling so many lies right now. Where did your grandfather go to college? Where he went to college, he... Uh... These are some super repulsive people to me. I can't... St Why? You see how frustrated y'all got me right now? Why do y'all lie and pretend to be in the army, in the military, in the navy? Why do y'all? Cause it, cause you want the respect, huh? You know, you know, ladies like that. You know, ladies like those type of guys. So you, you want to get the ladies, huh? Is that what y'all doing it for? Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves, losers. Bing right there. Oh my. I can't stand these people that do this mess. Mad disrespectful. They ought to have these uniforms ripped off their bodies. Uh, went to a military college. Which one was that? I don't remember the name of it. Was it maybe the Citadel in Charleston? That's a big one. Yeah. So you would agree that if people went to that school, they would know what they're talking about? Yeah. Walk over here with me. Come here. Read that sticker to yourself out loud. This one. Read it. Do you know how to read? The blue letters. What does it say? I'm colorblind. Okay. You saw what he just did? That's cat. His ass ain't colorblind. He's just full of lies. You can't trust a single thing he says. He done doubled this counter single-handedly. By himself. It doesn't matter what color the... And he's illiterate. I can't read it either, but that's, that's my problem. These, these letters right here, what does that say? Citadel. Oh, no, you, no, just read. Uh, you uh, have a good day. Okay? You don't know how to read. Stop. Is it? Have a good day. You don't know how to read. Stop. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Day, stop, stop, stop. He needed to go back to grade school and start all over. He, cause he's just effing up all the way through life. Dude, start from. I wouldn't say kindergarten. No, you need to start from preschool, bro. Maybe if you get a, a whole solid good education, preschool, pre, pre-K through 12, maybe it'll set you up, you know, put you in a better position to not have to lie. So that says the Citadel alumni. So that's also where your dad went. My grandfather. Your grandfather. Hey, come here, come here, come here. I don't need you to read Still much. lying. This is interesting. Still come lying. Here. You ever heard of stolen valor? You know it's illegal to claim you were in the military when Actually, you weren't? Uh, sir, if you want to, me to prove that I'm in the military, I can take you and I can show you my documentation. Documentation. This fool says documentation. Yes, I do. Well, hey, listen, listen, listen. Come here. This will be a good video. I, I, I don't understand why you're, if you're in the military, then we're brothers, my man. You got nothing to hide from me. Did you guys know that this was a five-star general rank? Isn't that amazing? This is Austin, he's going into the military. Austin, this guy's an army veteran, and his grandfather was a five-star general, and this is his uniform. And he also warned me about getting attacked out here, and he said that black people change after night. Cecilio, you want to say anything to this fine young man? A buddy of mine named... Uh, New you York. want to say anything to my black friend over there? No, it's not. You just said you don't like black people that they change. Like, a, you said like all, all black. black people, you said all, all black all people black change people after midnight. This man is so damn dumb. I think he honestly believes that. That all black people change after that. Excuse me, sir. What do you think black people change into after midnight? Tell me.
Because I ain't seen it happen yet. And I'm curious. Do they turn into lizard peoples? They turn into German shepherds? Like what, what, what a black, or do they turn white? 